In this video, we're going to take a look how to insert and configure Virus AG plugin in Reason 9.5. But before we go into the details of configuration, go to the Virus AG product page and click on the Tutorials tab and check out the videos how to get the proper version of the plugin and how to configure your media setup and routings in your OS and also the install or configuration guide for your virus so that it's working with the virus HG. Before we go into the details in Reason, I would like to point out that I'm a Logic Pro user and this DAW is not something that I know. So what I've learned so far, um, I'm going into the preferences and choose audio and then I can choose the inputs and outputs so uh, I have my virus TI coming in 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 and also my main outputs are output 9 and 10 so when I do the channels in the, in the reason I can monitor the audio and um, hear the sound coming out from the virus. Right, so external control, I've got my master keyboard on uh, port 9 on my AMT8, so that's what I've chosen right here, and exit, and then I'm just going to add audio track, and go to the settings. Right, and actually that needs to be stereo, so that's the virus TI1 and 2. That would be uh, 3 and 4. And this one would be five and six. Okay, so now I've got the audio channels there ready. So if I click the monitor option on, I can hear the sound if I'm playing my virus TI. Then we can add the virus AG plugin and track the VST right there. And close that one and um, open up the plugin. So here's the plugin GUI. Then I'm going to go to multi settings and choose the virus model which I'm using. And then choose the MIDI in and MIDI out. If you're starting from scratch, then you might just want to go and double click all of the presets to hear how they sound and move on into the next part and choose batches again but in this case I'm just gonna synchronize data from the hardware so uh, we can start playing straight away and now the data is being received like so and if we change parts we can see that there's different kind of a data on each part Next up, what we want to do is add MIDI tracks. And this is something that I'm not really good at, but let's see if I can find it. It's right there in the menu, external instrument. So here is the external. I'm just going to name this virus TI and one. So that goes to virus TI channel one and choose the port. There's my virus TI connected. And then I can duplicate this device and again, and again, and again. Right, so now we're gonna choose different channels for each of these instruments. 
and they are all going into the virus TI. So if I go to, um, let's say channel one and let's see if I need to choose the MIDI right here. Right, so I can hear the MIDI coming or the audio coming from the virus when I play the keyboard. And then I can choose a different channel. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be done. Okay, so that was quite simple. So insert the plugin in the reason and then assign MIDI tracks and do you sequencing in, in these MIDI tracks and obviously what comes to automation. Um, I really don't know how to do it in reason, but I'm quite sure that you know how to do it. So um, let me have a look. Automation, no, well, I don't know where to get the automation visible. So click a parameter, let's take that one. Um, yeah, well, obviously you might be a lot better in this one than I am. So <laughs> um, you can obviously do the automation, but if you go to different parts and while it's recording and you move the knobs, then it should do the automation in the DAW. Okay, um, that's it. Now if you save the project, all of the data from the plugin will be recalled into your virus TI or whatever virus you've got. And you can carry on from your project without doing any saving in the hardware, etc. In the next video, we're gonna take a look how to use the librarian functions in Logic Pro X. Um, it's my go-to door, so it's a lot more easier for me to explain how things work. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.